I should be writing number 448. Also, NaNoWriMo, day one. But I've only got 50,000 words to go Before the end of NaNoWriMo I thought that it'd be easy, but it's not Yeah, I've only got 50,000 words to go Before the end of NaNoWriMo I've got everything Hi there, welcome to I Should Be Writing, the podcast for wannabe fiction writers. I'm your host, Mer Lafferty, and you may have noticed that our theme song has changed to the wonderful NaNoWriMo by the same person who wrote I Should Be Writing, John Anilio. If you want to hear the whole song and maybe throw him a buck or two, uh, you can go to his page at johnanilio.com, A-N-E-A-L-I-O, and I'll have a link for it in the show notes. So as I said, we're going to be doing... Writer's Self-Care Toolkit. You can look into my archives and find lots of episodes of what to do on what days and, and coming up with a different episode every 30... 30 episodes every year about the same thing is kind of getting to me. At the beginning of NaNoWriMo, everyone's excited. Everyone's giving advice. Everyone's saying a lot of things. A lot of people are saying, take joy, enjoy it, it's wonderful, we love writing. And it reminded me of something. I stopped writing in my 20s for a couple of reasons. In, in hindsight, I think maybe one of those reasons was I wasn't ready. But, you know, I was an adult. I should have been. But one of the things that turned me off was reading Ray Bradbury's Zen and the Art of Writing. And something he said about how if you shouldn't be... I need to find this quote again so I can read it perfectly. If you can't be going full of joy and excitement every day, then you might as well not be a writer. And I thought, well, hell, I don't do that. Maybe I'm not fit to be a writer. What's wrong with me? And like I said, there were several reasons, but that was part of it. So I want you to think about the fact that your goal this month is to write 50,000 words. It is not to write 50,000 good words. It's not to be, it's not to enjoy writing 50,000 words. Justina Ireland posted on Twitter this morning that she had a she did a pep talk last year for NaNoWriMo.org and realized that people got really mad at her because she said writing is work. It's not always going to be fun. And apparently people took umbrage at that, which is just kind of stupid because, of course, writing's work. But the thing is, if you read some of the myriad advice going around this month and some of it doesn't apply to you... Remember, your goal is not to read all the advice and follow it this month. Your goal is to write 50,000 words. If the advice does not apply to you, then don't take it. You have one job. Gather whatever tools you can get to do that job and then do the job. Leave everything else behind. It doesn't matter. So for self-care today, your goal is to listen to the advice that works for you and firmly put aside the advice that doesn't. Remember your goal. Read some of the advice. It's it's fun to get excited about this project. It's fun to see other people excited about the project. But if you read advice that doesn't work for you, don't put that in your toolbox. Your goal is to write 50,000 words, and that is all. If you want to write 50,000 good words, if you want to write 50,000 words that our fan fiction, if you want to write 50,000 words that you are sure you're going to send to an agent, that's fine. That's added stuff for you. But remember, the base goal is 50,000 words. If advice does not fit your goal or your mentality or your personality, don't take it. And don't be, don't feel lesser for not taking it. And that includes some of my advice. If my advice doesn't work for you, it's not going to work for you. That's fine. So at the end of the day, you should have 1,667 words. You can see the blog and show notes, merverse.com. MightyMer at Gmail is my email address. I am MightyMer on all of the sites like uh, For the Words and NaNoWriMo and are there any others? I don't know. But I'm usually MightyMer anywhere except for Instagram where a Russian email address got MightyMer before I did. I'll see you tomorrow. 
for some of you and for others of you. I'll see you Monday. But throughout the whole thing, you should be writing. You can support the podcast and get a full 30 days of NaNoWriMo goodness at patreon.com slash mightymurr. Music by John Anilio. johnanilio.bandcamp.com. Used with permission. Thanks, John. Sometimes to myself I